Antics. Hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel or if you are new, welcome to the channel. Today I have a sewing DIY in the form of making your own envelope style cushions. Now this is a super easy sewing project, perfect for beginners starting out on their sewing journey all the way through to somebody who is more advanced and experienced at sewing. It is perfect DIY for anybody. So all you are going to need is a piece of material in your chosen colour. You just want to make sure you have enough, so make sure you know what size cushion you're going to make first. And then you want your cushion insert, a sewing machine, matching thread to your material, and some large pieces of craft paper to make your pattern for the envelope cushion. So if this sounds like something you are interested in making, then let's get crafting. Before you start, make sure that you have washed, dried and ironed your chosen material. This is to account for any shrinkage that may occur in the material. And then you want to start drafting your pattern piece. To make a 16 by 16 inch cushion, like in this video, you will need a 17 by 17 inch pattern piece which accounts for the one inch seam allowance then you want another pattern piece that measures at 17 by 14 inch and you want to cut two pieces of this material this will make the back piece of your cushion and allowing for the envelope folds check the description box below to find out how to alter this to suit other size cushions there's also a link to a blog post which you will find out much more information as well once you have pinned your pattern piece to your chosen material, you then want to cut it out. I'm using a rotary cutter here, but you can use scissors. For the back piece, make sure you have cut on the fold, which you then can cut in half to create the two pieces of material. Re-iron to get rid of some of the creases and then keeping your iron on you want to get your two back pieces and on one edge of each of these you want to fold in the raw edge and then fold this in on itself again to create a hem. This should be around a one inch hem and will finish off your back pieces for the openings of the envelope bit of the cushion. Then it is time to head over to your sewing machine and sew along the edge of this newly pressed hem to create a neat look. Just be mindful that some of the thread will be showing so make sure this bit is as neat as possible and you want to sew as close to the edge of the hem as you can. And don't forget to backstitch on each end of the hem as well. Once you have finished the two hems, you then want to place your material together. So you want the full piece of material facing right side up and then you want your two back pieces facing right side down so that the inside bit of your seams are facing up and these will be on the inside of your cushion, if that makes sense. If you want to add your own personalised label, now is the time to do it before you have started sewing. So you want to place the label in between the layers of fabric so that it will be on the outside of the cushion. And you want to make sure this is at least one inch down so that it is caught in the overall side seam. Pin your pieces together and then head over to the sewing machine. You want to sew a one inch seam around all four sides of the cushion and this is going to be a continuous seam. So when you get to the corners you want to make sure that your needle remains in the material. Then lift up your presser foot, turning the material around 90 degrees, placing the foot back down and continuing to sew along. This should give you a nice sharp corner. Again, don't forget to backstitch at the start and end of your sewing. Once it is all sewn together, it is time to see how your handiwork has turned out. So it is time to turn the cushion right side out and place in your cushion pad to make sure it fits. 
If the cushion is too loose, then you need to make thicker seams. If the cushion is too snug, then you need to make a thinner seam. But hopefully, if you have followed this, you will have got the measurements just right. If you're happy and no alterations need to be made, then turn it back inside out and snip your corners diagonally. This will give them a point when you are turning it right side out and when the cushion is in it. To finish the cushion, you then want to head back to your sewing machine and turn it to the zigzag stitch. This is because you are going to overlock all of the side seams to encase any loose threads and prevent fraying of your lovely new cushion cover. Grab yourself a small blunt object and when you turn your cushion covers the right side round, use this to push out your corners to the sharpest point that you can. I'm using the end of my seam ripper but you can use the end of a pen as well to do so. Then it's time to replace your cushion insert and you have your own envelope cushion. So there you have how to make envelope style cushions. Super simple and easy DIY, perfect for beginner sewers all the way through advanced and a perfect way of adding a bit of luxury, a bit of warmth, a bit of comfort, just a little bit of pizzazz to your home decor. These can be made in any size, any material, any color, so you can really decorate your home and just make it feel really homely and warm. I love a good cushion. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep up with more of my crafting and travel antics. Future videos may also include a little bit of something extra with these envelope cushions, so do keep posted for that. Until the next video, bye! Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow.